Thanks for joining. This is Movado, and I'm here in Valheim. That's right, Valheim today. Uh, I decided to do a playthrough, and I find myself... This is actually my first time going through Valheim. Uh, I beat the first four bosses. They are actually not all that difficult. Here I am at Yagluth, the temple, the altar of Yagluth. And I'm going to face him for the very first time solo. I have fought him once before in a group, but it was... Uh, a very quick fight, so it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Uh, I did do a little prep work, and I honestly have no idea how well this is going to work, but what I did do is I spent some time using the hoe to raise the ground, and I built all these little dirt pillars around the outside, and the idea is that I'm going to be able to hide behind those, either on either side. You know, hopefully he spawns somewhere in the middle, but if he spawns outside this ring, uh, that is fine as well. And then what I did is I put some stone protection at the top, so like when those meteors start falling, I can simply run underneath them, and then uh, hopefully get some protection if they come near me. I don't expect them to completely hold out and not get destroyed but i did add them for some extra protection as well um i'm going to use bow and arrow for the most part i do the drug or fang i am going to start with frost arrows then go down to poison if i need them hopefully i don't need that much uh the other thing i did do in prep is i took advantage of some of the terrain that was here this massive boulder uh, i did dig down ah duskito Let's kill him really quick. Kind of glad he came now. There you go. That's how you do them. You just block those Deskitos and smash them. I did dig down here a little bit so I can always get a comfort or rested bonus if I need to. Um, and then if I need a workbench for anything, I guess I got a level one, which kind of helps a little bit. But anyway, that's the fight. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. This may be an epic fail. I have no idea. Uh, but I got the totems, they're ready on the altar, and I think, uh, yeah, I think here we go. Let's give this, uh. Come back here, Duskito. Those would be some meteors, and they hit. Whew. All right, let me get my frost. Oh, there you are. Need to recharge some stamina here. Oh boy. Yeah, this seems to be working, albeit very, very slowly. Oof. Thought I had the fire resistance mead. Yep. 
I need some stamina here. Gotta keep it moving through there. Alright. Um. Whoa. Take advantage of this while I can. Uh oh. I saw the arm in the air, I gotta move. switch to poison arrows to see if they do anything different. I don't think they do. Yeah, those are uh, the meteors. I actually think those stones, they are getting destroyed a little bit, but they are definitely helping. the frost yep and I'll stay here so the reason why I built these dirt towers is because uh, I don't believe they can damage dirt rather than using stone stone would have probably gotten destroyed by now yeah this is gonna be a long battle Yeah, this is a slow, albeit effective way to do it. I mean, I don't know what he's shooting at over there. Hey, I'm getting a lot of free stone from that. You know that those upper that upper thing is certainly absorbing a lot of those meteors by doing it this way. I kind of have them locked in the middle, which is working really well for this. Fifty-four on the bows, not bad. Oh, 
Unless that cannot be avoided. But either way, it's fine. I've got enough passive healing to bring that back. Arm in the air, that means meteors are coming. Yep. Oh, that's good. Okay. Now, obviously, this would be a lot easier with uh, multiple people. If I could keep aggro on them, somebody else could be whacking them from behind. So I only have three minutes until my well-rested buff is gone. And honestly, I might even teleport back and regain that really quick. Because I do have a teleporter nearby. Or a portal nearby. See that one coming, he got me on that one. Ooh. That's a lot of bright lights. Meteors. got me there. You know, this corner seems to be working well. Oh, meteors. Oh, didn't see that one coming. I don't think he can get through there. All right, I'm running this time. Well, he's half down. My uh, rested bonus is gone. Um, I am going to escape really quick. And I'm going to get my buff back again. Might even repair all my gear really quick as long as I'm here. Well, that was a lot of linen I just got. Okay. 
Let me head inside my base. Wait for that well-rested bonus. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally used my health and stamina push. I'm used to having those on the hot, the food on the hot bar there. Not those, that's okay. Okay, back to Yagluth. How am I doing on arrows? Good enough. I see his little eyes. Okay. Oh. He came over to greet me. Meteors. Get that attack off. I'll recharge. Oh, here he is. Z. Whatever that means, means meteors. That's what I think he's saying, meteors. Was a big deal. All right, let me get some healing going here. I missed that one. Okay. All right, I see what you got here, buddy. Yeah, if I went to build these pillars, I don't know what I would... Oh, screw you. doesn't help that I think it's at night time and I'm in the plains.
get a refresh on some potions. Ooh. That's a good hole to shoot him from. Pretty soon that whole thing is going to fall, though. Okay. I think I'm going to try to switch him to this side over here now. I got him down to, like... I don't know, he's got to have 60% of his health gone. I'm not sure what he just shot at. i got to watch for his arm, though. This is how he got caught that one time. Okay, got to move. Yep, welcome, see ya, okay. I heard another giggler. He's doing his attacks more frequently now, it seems. Spit at me, shoot your little red snot at me. This one's definitely the longest boss fight that I've had. The other the other ones are def definitely over by now. But I think that's the point. But if you're well prepared for like this. With a lot of arrows. I'm sure there's better ways to do this up close. But admittedly that's not my strong suit with big boss fights like this. Pop some stamina. Keep hitting this guy. This is, uh, yeah, shouldn't, shouldn't have any problem finishing him off, I don't believe. Barring a silly mistake. Or something sneaking up behind me, like a lox or a something silly, like gets, I don't know. Who knows? It's Valheim, right? It could happen. Where 
is he? Oh. Like, yeah, like that. At least they're only skeletons. I can deal with those. Wherever they went, I should probably go deal with them now. Pop another stamina potion. Shoot him in the face one time and then I run. Ooh. Ooh. Didn't expect that to happen. Oh, Z. Here we go. you imagine, man, this would be a really tough fight without these pillars I built. One thing I should do is I put my bow away when I start running because I use less stamina. It's a good conservation technique. I think I'm on my poison arrows. Yep. Put the bow away, start running. I'm looking at the sky because it seems like you can see where it comes from sometimes. There we go. You can see him coming down a little bit. Put 
the bow away, start running. Yeah, you can see those meteors coming down. Oh, did not mean to hit that button, whatever I hit there. My bow is almost damaged. I'm going to have to run back and f give it a quick repair. All right, I'm going really quick. I'm going to run back to base. I need to repair my bow. I could have set one up a little bit closer, but I kind of like also having it this far away. Man, this is one heck of a battle. In order to re the reason I'm not repairing it there is because I need to get all the additional add-on stations as well, which is certainly feasible, certainly doable. But running back to repair really quick is also doable. All right, let me get my well-rested bonus really quick. Well, on arrows, I have plenty of arrows to finish this off. Just watching that rest of timer in the top right corner, and then as soon as it, there it goes. Off we go. And this should be the last trip. I should be able to finish him off from here. Yeah, there he is. saw his left hand go up and it was blue. That's his AoE attack. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to heal really quick on that one. Did not see that. Good job, buddy. You got me there. Time to hang out on this side a little bit. Oh. Maybe not quite right there. <laughs> yeah, I thought I saw that hand go up. You know, I haven't used that space underneath that rock yet. And I'm definitely not going to. Let him do his attack. I'm going to recharge. Away. Hey, I can see him. If you look up at the sky early enough, you can see him coming in. 
And they're just hitting those ground pillars and not doing anything to them. Which totally makes sense because it's not putting holes in the ground either. So, like, why would it destroy those pillars? Yep, we better move there. Three attacks is really all this guy has. Oops. Well, I will say, as slow as this is, this is a pretty darn good first attempt at Yagluth for having never fought him solo before. I'm going to try to get to this side. Ooh, he almost got me there. Uh oh, that's not good. I'm going to sit here and re get some stamina regen really quick. Hey now. It's like he got faster all of a sudden. Poke your head through there, buddy. Now I got some distance. Now we're cooking with fire. Let some stamina recharge. Gosh, is he healing? <laughs> I feel like his bar isn't moving anymore. Oof, this is rough.
<laughs> oh, that was not good. I'm gonna die now. <laughs> Thought I'd get fancy and go in there for some hits. Get some refresh on food to get my food buff back up. Yeah, and I know this guy is resistance to pierce, which is what the bow does. This is a good spot to be. This pillar is mostly intact. Use some more stamina pots. Oh well. Damn fuelings. I'm not sure if the fuelings are going to attack me or him. fire. Oh shit. Man, 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 this is getting real hairy really quick. Whew, take a deep breath. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Interesting. It's like if I keep turning him around, he doesn't do an attack.
swear this guy is taking less damage as this fight's going on. I've barely done any damage to him. And my bow is almost worn out again. Alright, you know what? I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go back. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. This is almost an hour long fight already. I'm uh, going to go back to base and I need more arrows. Ah, skeletal guy. as long as he doesn't start dropping meteor showers on me out here. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to close that door before I left. Okay. Couple things. repair. I do have some mods on, which is why I'm auto-repairing. The frost arrows definitely did much better, so I'm going to go back to making a bunch more of those. I didn't think I'd need this many. Goddamn little grayling out there throwing rocks at me. I have a moat, so they can't get to me. Okay, that should be enough. I'm out. Gonna get the well-rested buff. Ooh, some stamina potions. Here we go. Right, I got all those. Why didn't I bring them? Waiting for the rested buff, and here we go. All right, unequip everything. <laughs> can actually hit him from here. If you want to cheese it, that's how you cheese it. He's standing right there, and I can just freely unload on him while he is not attacking me. Well, that's way too easy. Ah, there we go. Alright, let's... Let me deal with this guy really quick. Yeah, ice is doing a significant amount more damage. Wow! It's like four times the damage. Well, that's why it seemed like things slowed down. I heard some little guys around me. Pop that stamina. Run around. I found running back and forth seems to work really well. Yeah, he's almost dead now. Ice is the answer, that's for sure. Boom! I 
I don't even want to know what kind of base attacks that just unlocked. Wow, wow, wow. All right. What did I get out of that? Whatever these little purple things are. It's horn spirits, the thing. Yeah. Well, that's going to do it. That was Yaglut. That was my first attempt. You can see these little pillars that I built. All of them are still standing. A lot of these stone caps in the top are still there. So overall, that worked pretty good. That's going to do it for this episode. That was Yagluth. This is Valheim. And this is Movado. Thanks for joining. If you have any questions, please do let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for joining. Take care and hope to see you next time. Thanks, everyone.